Well, following the deaths of 21 Hamaskra residents from cholera due to the contaminated water there, the EFF in Swane has filed uh, criminal charges. The party is demanding that the circumstances which led to the deaths be investigated. This week, members of the EFF vowed to disrupt a city council sitting to get answers on the deaths um, from the mayor, Silius Brink, and the municipality. Well, for more on this, we speak to the EFF's deputy chairperson in Twane, Leofi Lishavane. Uh, Leofi, thank you so much for your time, and thank you for joining us on the weekend report this morning. I want to start by getting some clarity. Some reports are suggesting that your party is planning to lay a charge of mass murder against the city. Others are reporting that it's a charge of culpable homicide, the negligent killing of another person uh, which is it yeah um, um <clears throat> good morning to you and good morning to all the viewers um, um we are as the eff um confirming that indeed we have laid the charges of a mass murder of the people of Haman's crime against the um the, the the office of the mayor of the city of swani as well as the city manager the basis of that is that um, if you would have checked the, the track record of the uh, provision of water in Haman's Kral, you'd realize that the people of Haman's Kral, it's for many years, and there are various reports that were found. The one that I could find is that there was a report by, by the National Institute for Communicable Diseases. That report has been disregarded. There was also a further report by the CSIR, and then finally, the um, reports, which I'm informed that they have been presented uh, almost now and then when there's an outbreak by the South African Human Rights Commission, um, which indicates that the water in Amman's Kral is not consumable. Now, second to that is that there has been a battle between the, um, the municipality and, and, the, um, and the provincial government or the national government in terms of who should take over the, uh, the problem uh, of Amman's Kral, the water crisis. Uh, deliberately, I want to say to you that the allegations that we have now is that the water treatment plant uh, in Royval, as well as the water treatment plant uh, at Temba, uh, would show that the water that is emitted to uh, the, the, the pipes or the taps in Hamans Kral is not consumable. And those are the things that we are saying that if you allow that water to run through the tap systems up to the point where it lands into the yard of the people, deliberately, that you know that this water is not consumable. Why do you open the valves? Why do you allow that water to run to the communities? Dirty as it is and clean with whatever grounds that may exist that makes that water not to be uh, consumable. So with that, we submit that there is a deliberate act because they are doing that intentionally. The municipality knew all along that this water that comes from the rival treatment plant is not clean, it's not consumable. Now, when there is an outbreak of cholera, that water becomes the first suspect. And it's not once, it's many times that we have heard that this water is not uh, good for human consumption. A, a joke has been said that even dogs can drink that water. Now, you even went, go further and say people must clean their hands with what? Mm. If you are cleaning your hands with dirty water, how clean are you? Right. I'm even wondering. Right. Sorry to interject there because uh, I want to get a, a sense as well on the viability of, uh, you know, the, the legal route that you've, you've opted to take. I think some quarters of society will welcome that. Um, essentially, because it acts as a means of holding those in power accountable for what's gone wrong in Haman Skral. Other quarters of society may say that with the political prowess that the EFF enjoys in that city, in that council, shouldn't you try to work together with city management and executive um, to, to ensure that the water supply there is, is indeed safe to drink? This problem, if you are aware, doesn't start uh, um, with us being in council now. It has been there for a long time. It has not been dealt with. Why? We don't, we have been asking that let's work together. We've been saying to the municipality that the council sitting, the, the recent council sitting should not take place. Let us prioritize the problems of death toll that is growing in Haman's Kran. So we did not disrupt. We were saying to them, look, this is a protest. Uh, we have not thrown away anything. We have not pushed the tables. We have not touched anyone. We are simply saying that let us prioritize the problem in Haman's Kran. So mm. we want to work with them. The only way will work with them is when they prioritize the problem that has started in Amazon. You, can, you will agree with me that if this problem is left unattended, uh, 
the whole of Swani and ultimately anywhere else who are going to be infected. Speaking to you now, I'm not infected by the problem, but it may reach me. Because this is infection, so it will move from them and, and cover uh, the greatest parts. Yeah, the other overarching question, uh, Leofi, is the fact that why did it have to get to this point, to the point where lives have actually been lost and possibility of a mass murder charge is something that can even be entertained by a court in this country. Uh, why did people have to die to rouse the kind of political attention that this, the plight of this community currently has? And your party has enjoyed, as I've mentioned, some measure of confidence in that council. So you're not entirely absolved from that question that is being asked by residents. Why did it have to take the deaths of 21 people for people in power in that city to finally act? That is why we, we keep saying that the uh, majority of the South Africans must, must take confidence in voting for the EFF into power. Hence, we are running the program of mass voter registration every Friday so that we can get all these disgruntled people who have never voted before and those who had voted and have lost confidence in the government to say that let us go back and vote and register and vote for the EFF because we are the only ones on the forefront fighting for the interests of the society. Now, we are the minority. I mean, in council, out of uh, 216 seats, we only occupy 23. Now, we are, we are the minority. Our voice can be heard. Uh, we are not occupying any key position. Uh, uh, we are not in the MMC positions. We, we are not, but our voices are not heard. Hence, we are where we are now, trying to push as far as we can to say that. Um, Council should not see. Uh, let, let's draw the attention of uh, the society, let's draw the attention of the government to the problem of Amansla. Because if we were willed in power, I can tell you now that alternative means would have been devised to ensure that this problem is settled. But we can't because we are not willed in power. The, the, the municipality of Swani is under the administration of the Democratic Alliance and the Freedom Front. And they don't care because this water is not supplied to white communities. It is supplied to the people of Amansgral and for a very long time. Hence, I'm saying to you that there's a track record that this is not a new matter. Uh, it has been there. Various reports have been filed that the water in Amansgral is not consumable, but the municipality continues to provide it. And I can assure you that even when they were campaigning in the last municipal elections, they were promising the people of Amansgral clean water. But once they resume office, they look aside. The concentration is on Pretoria East. Right. Now, when it comes to these charges, you have laid them against the DA-led multi-party coalition in that city. I wonder if you'll be adding the African National Congress to that list of re respondents, because before 2016, uh, the city of Tswane was definitely within the hands of the ANC, including the running of the city's water infrastructure. Uh, will you be including that party uh, as respondents to the matter? We, we are not uh, necessarily citing the names here. And I'm saying to you that there's a track record. If you check on the reports that were stipulated by the South African um, Human Rights Commission, they, they, it's clear that the, the, the current administration and the previous administration um, um, uh, of, of, of the city uh, must be held accountable. So it will date back to the moment or the time that uh, people became aware that there's a problem or the municipality became aware that there's a problem in Amanskra. So whoever was aware that the water uh, that is provided to the people of Amanskra, it, it's not clean, it's not consumable, and has disregarded measures to ensure that it's settled, should obviously be brought into record without us mentioning names. That is a matter of investigations uh, by the police who would be able to give us guidance as to when was the municipality um, uh, aware that this problem is there and should be attended to, and it was ignored. Yeah. I want to talk about the disruptions that were led by the EFF, specifically by um, your regional chairperson, Oba Geng um, Ramabodu, uh, on that Wednesday council sitting, you know, bringing that bottle uh, of water, of Hamanskral water that the residents there are expected to consume and asking him to drink from that bottle. That was a very powerful message moment uh, for the economic freedom fighters in the city, talk to us about that, uh, the point that, we, that you were clearly trying to make in doing just that. Look, I, I want to correct you. Um, the, the chairperson of the EFM did not disrupt cancer. In any event, we work as a collective. 
uh, uh, he is implementing the resolutions of the caucus. Uh, he did not disrupt, and neither did we disrupt, but we were protesting that uh, there's dirty water in Amman's crowd, and bottles were brought, and, and uh, you know, at last was provided to um, 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 the mayor to drink. Because that is the water that is supplying to the people of Amman's Club. The people of Amman's Club are not just taking the water into the river, from the river, but they are collecting it from their own taps, in their own yards. Now, if they are fed with that water, uh, let him drink, let him taste, and let's see if he will wake up tomorrow. So we are saying that if the people cannot, if the people of Amman's Club cannot consume that water, uh, if, if he cannot consume that water, why should the people of Amman's Club consume such water? All right, Leofi, thank you so much. We'll leave that conversation there for now. And, of course, we'll monitor developments with regards to that uh, charge of mass murder laid against the city of Tswane. That was the EFF deputy chairperson in that region, Leofi Leshavani.